Okay, I'm in an airport, but I want to give you guys the latest good news roundup because there's been a ton more. First of all, white dudes for Kamala Harris. Congratulations, 193,000 of you showed up to that call. What? And those guys raised $4.2 million for the Kamala Harris campaign. 150,000 of those attendees signed up to volunteer for Kamala Harris, which is huge. I also want to give a shout out for Natives for Harris who had a call on Zoom this week and they had thousands of people show up and raised $35,000. More calls coming up this week, Latino Men for Harris on Wednesday, National Organizing Call with VP Harris herself Tuesday night, and Deadheads for Kamala on Thursday night. The Women for Harris call that happened last night had somewhere around 250 thousand women on it. These numbers are getting so big that we don't even think about them anymore. That's a quarter million. There's more. 88% of Democrats now say they are enthusiastic about voting for Kamala Harris. That is a 26 point jump since she got into the race. She now has a six point advantage over Trump in this regard. And in other good news, just 4% of voters, according to a new morning consult poll, say that they would vote for someone besides Trump or Harris, meaning a third party candidate. We still have work to do to help people understand how important it is that they not vote third party, but that is a huge improvement from before. There's more. During the weekend of action that just happened, they had 2,300 events, more than 29,000 volunteers were out this weekend. They knocked on 126,000 doors and they made 768,000 phone calls. If you were one of them, thank you, thank you, thank you. Team Harris is scaling up their efforts, not just in battleground states, but in other states too. They already have 600 staff on the ground in blue wall states, and they're adding another 150 staffers to that region in the first two weeks of August. Arizona and North Carolina have plans to double the size of their teams in the next two weeks. And Georgia Georgia opened three new offices this weekend alone, and some of you helped decorate them. I know it, and thank you for that. One last great little tidbit. Kamala Harris's team announced that if Donald Trump continues to call her Kamala, they're gonna start calling him Donald, and I think we all should do that. More soon, keep up the energy, keep up the momentum, keep knocking doors, keep making phone calls. When we fight, when we show up, when we stay united, we win.